where the tensions continue to rise between the United States and North Korea. And the United States has announced the seizure of a North Korean cargo ship, which reportedly violated U.S. sanctions. Now, this announcement comes just hours after North Korea had fired what appeared to be two short-range missiles. And this is North Korea's second test in a span of less than a week. Now, South Korea has claimed that the projectiles were in fact fired towards the east. The first one reportedly travelled about 420 kilometres, while the second reportedly covered almost about 270 kilometres. The North Korean media has now released images of Kim Jong-un overseeing the tests. Now, the state news agency KCNA did not specify as to what exactly was fired, what were these missiles, what kind of missiles had in fact been fired. Now, South Korea had said that the tests were actually pretty worrisome and extremely unhelpful for peace in the Korean Peninsula. But the country has also said that the tests may be a protest, in fact, against Trump's refusal to ease the financial sanctions after the failed Hanoi summit in February earlier this year. Remember, Washington has given no sign that it is going to budge on the sanctions against North Korea. Now, the Workers' Daily Korean website has also released certain stills of the launches, but it is not clear whether the pictures are from the launch that was done on yesterday or whether it was done on Wednesday night. But the location of the second launch is still not known. The South Korea has said that the North Korean neighbor had fired two short-range missiles from the city of Kyusong. Meanwhile, U.S. President Donald Trump has also expressed concerns over the launches. He has said, and I quote him here, You're looking at it very seriously right now. There were smaller missiles. There were short-range missiles. Nobody's happy about it, but we are taking a good look, and we will see. This is what President Donald Trump had to say after North Korea launched these two short-range missiles. However, the United States insists that it is still open for talks and negotiations. Trump has said that the relationship between the two countries continues to remain pretty good. He believes that the North Koreans still want to negotiate. Now, the U.S. Justice Department has also announced the seizure of a North Korean cargo vessel that it said was involved in illicit shipping of coal. Now, the United States claimed that the ship violated international sanctions and the Justice Department officials have said that wise, honest North Korea's second largest cargo ship had been de detained during a... April 2018 stop in Indonesia and it will be moved to American Samoa sometime in the near future. The complaint was filed in New York and it was argued that the payments for the vessel had in fact been channeled through U.S. institutions. U.S. officials have also said that the timing of the complaint was not related to the missile launch. Well, it is not just with North Korea that U.S. relations...